Hi everyone! This week my toy hunt's at Walmart and my goodness they have the new retro series dolls from Rainbow Bright's 40th anniversary as well as Strawberry Shortcake. Yes, oh my goodness they look so cute and magical in person. I wonder if Strawberry Shortcake comes with her, her cat? I'm not sure but you do get like four mystery items. Oh and they also have new Polly Pockets! We have some minions. Oh my goodness, that's really cute. I had no idea this one was coming out. So Polly Pocket definitely taking on some different uh, collabs. And then the Monster High one, which I've been on the hunt for. And how cute is that? Oh my goodness. You have the lockers. Dracula can hang upside down. You get three little mini figures. Okay. Polly Pockets, it definitely scored with the the theming on these two sets oh and then they also have this new little compact i don't remember the doggy in the in the van that's cool that's like perfect for summer road trips right there and i think those are just different packagings of the ones we've seen and then they have these two cuties which is like a picnic is he like a bear bread either way that's very cute and then they also have this bunny one and the bunny's like a drink box. <laughs> oh, I love the theming. Yeah, it looks like it's just those those two in that new series. Adorable. Oh, and speaking of like bringing back retro stuff, they have trolls. Like the actual, are they called Lucky Trolls? It's the ones with the little gem and the hair. And that's classic. They also have this strawberry shortcake little playset. Is it a little oven thing? But you get a doll as well. And then down here they have some Decora dolls, which are stickers. Oh, look at the little sticker store. So it looks like they have the sticker box, the small dolls, and then they also have these larger ones. And then they have like the cloth kind of dolls of the Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, the yarn hair. So she has a plastic sculpt, but it is like that doll material in the legs and tummy. Oh goodness. How cute is that? And then Strawberry Shortcake looks, oh wow, her box is kind of big. <laughs> okay, oopsies. It's hard to grab with one hand, but she looks like the rag doll, which has such a cute little, okay, I can't, I can't show these. It's hard to grab, but they have such a cute little um, rag doll face, like a smiley face. Okay, that's adorable. How cute. I wonder if they'll make the sprites. That would be amazing. But what a great little nostalgic retro and just a whole lot of fun on this end cap at Walmart. On the next side cap over, Walmart has a nice selection of Barbie, the new cute reveals, the new pop reveal. The new color reveal. There's a lot of reveals <laughs> going on in Barbie. And then they also have like the little Chelsea ones. And then up top here, they have some dolls from the Barbie movie, which I know those like disappeared, at least in stores by me for a while. So they have the roller skating Barbie, which is really cool. They also have a variety of new dolls as well as this Barbie one from the Barbie movie. So that's awesome. Those were those were hard to find for, for quite a while. So good to see more of the the Barbie movie merchandise out in stores as well. Down the doll aisle itself, they don't have too much. They do have some of the economy LOL OMG dolls, which look pretty cool, as well as some of the Rainbow High like swimsuit ones. Which those are fun. They sell the, the separate packs. We just have these three. Let's look on the back if there's more. There's the blue haired one too. Cute, but definitely the, the Target new display side caps are the place to go for the new items because there's not much down the actual Walmart aisles, uh, aisles themselves, which is usually my, my deal at this Walmart anyway. And I don't film here often, but man, they, they must have just put up a, a new display for the retro toys and Barbie. They have these Style Bay dolls. Those those are new. And then there's more trolls from the movie. 
In back, they have a small selection of different Azuru 5 surprise capsules. They also have the pets. Ooh, the regular Island Ditos, which are different from the Five Below ones. They also have some of the new Snackles. Little live pets. Magic Mixies. We're still seeing Crystal Woods. I have yet to find the Magicus Party at Walmart. They do have some of the magic lamps. Oh, we have the cookies makery. Nice. They have the oven and they also have the little toasty treats, which still look to be the first wave, but good to see to see these again. And Furby and the little furblets. Those are adorable. And then some real littles. Nothing, nothing new though. Down the action figure aisle, Walmart has a great selection of Pokemon Squishmallows. How cute are they? Look at Piplup there. <laughs> Clef Fairy is adorable. And there's a lot of new action figure packs. They have Reboot, which is like the middle evolution to Score Bunny. You don't see many, many figures of those mid evolutions. So that's kind of cute. I'm just going to kind of pan over. This Walmart has a very, very small action figure aisle. But they have some Star Wars. They have some other little plushies the sleeping cuties from from pokemon okay that oshawott's adorable they all look so peaceful <laughs> some ahsoka little bounty hunters oh look at this cool mandalorian figure i like the the retro packaging very cool design so excited for for a mandalorian movie oh and they also have x-men 97 figures storm and bishop Yes, I am so excited to see so much X-Men 97 stuff out. I've opened the Funko Sodas, and they were amazing. And so, so happy. I see it on my social media, too. It's a good time. That was such a, a good series that I need to watch, because I never, never finished, if it does finish or not. But I uh, definitely want to catch up on that. I have a couple Transformers. Ratchet from the Transformers the movie... We have Sludge, and then we also have the very cool Optimus Prime with the lion head <laughs> and then almost by the easter section they have another side cap that has the new crayola lol surprise this is like the style me studio they also have the mix and make birthday cake dress dolls as well as more of the economy omg dolls which looks really cool for those four four characters it's my first time finding the crayola um, lol surprise dolls at walmart but they're definitely getting in a lot more new items, which is great to see. Next up, I'm going to make a quick stop at Five Below. Inside Five Below, it's really busy because it's later in the day after work, but they have some of the Disney Mariverse action figures for $5. How crazy is that? Oh, look at Sorcerer Mickey. There's Baloo, there's Donald, there's Sully, who is a huge, huge figure. Belle, of course. What a great price. So, Mariverse was also a game, a mobile game, with super cool artwork, which I love. It is crazy to find these at Five Below. Five Below also has some new cute Titos. They're the $5 economy ones without the blanket or cards, and they're called Kawaii Itos, Ooh, which look cute. They also have more of the Mystery Squad blind bags, which is such a great deal, such a great price. They even have Cows vs. Aliens, Bears vs. Donuts, all your vs. World stuff, they have. <laughs> and here's a quick look at the blind boxes. They have the new Under the Sea Alphamau, Living on the Veg, and more blind bags. In the Funko section, they have some of the Pizzeria Simulator, fun, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Minis. Oh wow, I opened a lot of those before, but that's awesome to see them for $5. And then up top here, love Jack Skellington, but they also have the Retro Toys Mystery Minis. Oh, that's so cool. They have the Potato Heads and Glow Worm. Okay, I definitely have to pick up a few of those. Lots of cool stuff at Five Below. Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is the haul. And Walmart came through with some of the new retro dolls that are out right now, including the Rainbow Bright for the 40th anniversary. They also had Strawberry Shortcake, which was very tempting. But I do remember vague snippets of Rainbow Bright and just how magical that was. 
um, to, to watch the music, that movie. So it looks like you get like four different surprises with this. I hope Twink is, is one of them. And it shows the other dolls that you can collect. And I believe, oh yeah, these are by the Loyal Subjects. So TLS must be the Loyal Subjects toy. Because they used to make designer, like, blind boxes. They even had, like, a retro My Little Pony one and plastic figures that were really nice quality. So, cool to see their line expand because how gorgeous does Rainbow Bright look? I, I love the art style. It continues that cool 40th box logo that they have. It's just gorgeous. They also had, like, the large, like, cloth design doll, too, which, uh, with the yarn hair. So, so nostalgic. So good to see these in stores. Walmart also had the new Polly Pocket Monster High collab, and you get Draculaura, Claudine, and Frankie as little mini dolls. I've been on the hunt for this one for a while. Okay, I really do love how you can hang Draculaura upside down. <laughs> so, so cute. This does retail for $19.99. Um, they also have like a Trolls, or not Trolls, Minions one. Um, they do make a Trolls one as well that we saw at Target, but so neat to have these. Um, I love all Polly Pocket stuff, so to see the, the Monster High gals as little miniature form Polly Pocket dolls is adorable. And then I had intended to make a quick stop to a five below I haven't been to since like way before the holidays. I wanted to check on some things and my goodness, five below always has just such random items you never expect to find. And lo and behold, they had some of the Mariverse action figures from McFarland Toys, which are great quality. Um, so many toy hunts, I was like, oh, I like Belle, but, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to collect them. And they were kind of pricey. But for $5, yes. <laughs> yes, I shall. So they had a pretty good selection. And, of course, I picked up Belle. And Mariverse was a mobile game. Cool ar alternate art, like, characters. And I love characters in, in different forms, different poses, different artwork. I mean, you have Disney Twisted Wonderland, which is its own thing. And now we have Disney Lorcana, which just has gorgeous, gorgeous art. So very happy to see some Mariverse items. And then I also picked up Mickey. I love the yellow and white look of Sorcerer Mickey when we're so used to, like, that classic um, Fantasia one. So, again, for $5, that is just too cool. And very nicely done. I never played Mariverse, but I know they made a Jack Skellington. And um, they came out with some Disney pins. And the Jack Skellington design was like my absolute favorite. He looked so cool. He doesn't have an action figure from what I know. Um, but I guess maybe Disney Mariverse isn't a thing anymore. I'll have to look into that. But you know what? It had some, some really cool artwork. I also picked up a couple of the Cutitos Kawaii Itos. That axolotl got me, but I also know that these are the ones that don't come with like the blanket or cards, and sometimes they may not look exactly like they do on the packaging. Okay, those unicorns are adorable. But you know what? We're, we're going to give it a try, or I didn't learn my lesson. It was only really the candy Itos that was a little disappointing with that line, but some of them were, were very cute. And again, for $5 and a larger plush, it's, it's definitely worth giving them a try. And at the very least, you have that little cutie in, in the pack art. And then the last items at five below, I'm very happy to find the Funko Mystery Mini blind boxes for the Retro Toy Series, which they have a glowworm and they have different rarities. So he's a one in six. <laughs> so please, he's the super, super common. And I loved the glow friends. I even had a... a I would call it a plush glowworm, but I remember it being plastic and heavy. Like you can you can knock someone out with the glowworm. But um <laughs> I love glowworm and I love the glow friends. So hoping to find him. There's also this monster that I remember commercials of. That looks really cool. And of course some G.I. Joe with the Cobra Commander. Although he's a one in 36. And I always like the Cobra Commander because he was the same voice actor that played Starscream, my, my favorite Decepticon in Transformers. Ooh, and the Cobra Commander does appear in a futuristic episode of Transformers. So that mm, that's just a good time. And a great, very nostalgic trip down memory lane with um, some of these items. <laughs> oh, I picked up I picked up four of those total. Couldn't couldn't pass them up. 
So there you have it for this week's toy hunt. Again, more things than I expected and some very, very pleasant surprises. So I do hope you enjoyed this toy hunt or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching, for coming toy hunting with me. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.